What's going on guys, it's Keegan again. In this clip, it was very early in the morning. I don't really know what happened, but my voice was all jumbled and it didn't have a very clean recording. So I'm just gonna voice over this clip. Um, I talked about weighing yourself and the importance of weighing yourself every single day when you're dieting. Um, it really helps zero in on what's working for you and what's not working for you. If you're eating a set amount of calories for a week or doing a set amount of uh, cardio for a week, you need to adjust it if you're not losing anything in that whole week, a couple days, your weight will fluctuate. So just be aware of that. So here's my current weigh-in. What's going on guys? This is my current chest workout. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe down below. I really do appreciate it. Um, this first exercise is me doing a quarter rep into a whole rep. So I come down, go quarter of the way up, and then go back down, and then go back up to the full rep, and that's one. I do about eight to 10 of these, keep the weight pretty light. Um, I think I did four sets of this. Really focus on contracting and squeezing with your chest. After that exercise, I moved on to this flat dumbbell press. And the benefit of doing this versus a normal bench um, with a barbell is that you do get a really good stretch at the bottom so if you are doing dumbbells really emphasize the stretch down and get your chest myofibrils to really stretch and break because that's what's going to help your chest uh, grow more um, some people do think that just doing dumbbells is going to help your chest grow a lot more but I do like incorporating a heavy bench because strength equals more size and more muscle size so they're directly correlated and then after that I moved on to this hammer strength incline press I kept the weight really really light and controlled it on the way down and then exploded up through I really like doing this um, again it gets a really good stretch and then at the top I feel the most tension so I hold that for just a second let it squeeze and then control it down um, the explosion on the way up is going to help you um, activate your fast twitch muscle fibers which are correlated with size and general power of your muscle so you can lift more weight um, like i said i kept this very very light just to help um, my shoulder recover a little bit more because i was feeling some shoulder pain a little bit earlier in the day um, and then after that, I finished off chest with doing some flies, some cable flies. I really, really like cable flies because you have tension all the way through and I don't feel as much strain in my shoulders as I would with a dumbbell fly. Um, I do incorporate some dumbbell flies because it does add a little bit of a different angle and a little bit different of a tension. But with cable flies, you do get the most amount of tension when you're squeezing and that's where your muscle is going to grow the most. After those chest flies I moved on to my favorite tricep exercise ever, the cable extension. Um, absolute favorite. I love how it develops your tricep. Um, I believe that the outer part of your tricep is one of the most underdeveloped in most athletes. Um, I like doing a drop set with this get a lot more volume and really force more blood into that muscle and help it grow. Um, I kept, I keep it pretty light on these, I'll be honest. Um, I don't like to go super heavy because I feel my other muscles and my body weight taking over. Um, one thing to keep in mind for all cable tricep extensions um, is to keep your elbows in place the, through the, out the whole movement. Um, you don't want to have any swing because that's going to implement more back and you're going to be forcing it down and gaining momentum. There is times when this is and should be part of the movement um, when you're trying to overload the muscle or like you're like here when you're super tired and you're just trying to force out a couple more reps. After that I moved on to this um, seated cable, uh, seated tricep extension. Um, I kept it really heavy. I think I went up to 200 pounds um, and I did below 10 reps on everything um, to essentially failure each and every time. 
I hope you guys enjoyed that chest workout and then next is a little bit of footage I gathered today of my arm workout before I was told that I wasn't allowed to film anymore. Um, I don't know what the issue was. I've been filming here for at least a month, month and a half, and no one's ever said anything. And then today, the manager came over to me and was just like, you can't film here. It's a liability, so I don't know what's going on. I think I'm just going to have to film when she's not working. Because um, like I said, I've never had an issue before. But I hope you guys enjoy this raw footage of my arm workout. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure you subscribe and comment down below of any topics that you'd like me to go over. Um, I really do appreciate all of your support and I'll see you guys in the next one.